Welcome back to Who Chose. Today on Who Chose, I kill some plants. Well, I, it's not all bad. It's mostly bad. So on the last episode of Who Chose, we actually set up the terra planter and started growing maiden hair ferns amongst a few other plants that I could get my hands on. I then did a short time lapse. It didn't work out quite as well as I'd like it to, but purely because the time lapse camera failed multiple times. But this time I have an entire six month time lapse for you guys. So what I did was I set up another two terra planters, one with Venus flytraps and the other with Hoyas or wax plants. The reason I did this is because I'd seen it done before and I wanted to create a really nice root structure around the terra planter that I could show you essentially the roots clinging to the terra planter. So let's have a look at the time lapse. Now this time lapse is actually six months in about a minute. So really intensive time lapse and I hope you enjoy it. And this is the result. Don't you love it when things go to plan? <laughs> In all seriousness though, I've been really impressed with how these terra planters or clone terra planters because the original terra planters are scam, allegedly, but they've actually outperformed my expectations. If I had not been so lazy and topped this up more, or filmed this video a bit earlier when it was like actually in full growth and looked spectacular, this video would have been much different. I would recommend against putting Venus flytraps on these devices. These died even when I was regularly filling them up. The Hoya, go ahead. I don't think you could kill this plant. I gave it my best and it just thrived. Like it was reaching out even, I mean, you can actually see in the time lapse where I failed to water, uh, the maidenhair ferns and the other ferns are all drooping down. They come back when I top it up with nutrient. And this happens a couple of times throughout the time lapse. But the Hoya, the wax plant, it just powered through the whole time. And even though I was so inconsistent with watering, that Hoya has still come through and delivered what I wanted, which was I wanted the roots to wrap around that terra planter. And it's given me some really nice root action i guess you'd call it as for the ferns there were a ton of plants on this terra planter to start with as you can see it started off absolutely loaded up and it powered through most of that time lapse um, it was really in the last couple months that it started to die back and that was me again. So if you want to attach ferns to this device, I think that's absolutely possible. So these are all grown under T8 fluorescent tubes. The tubes I actually got from an aquarium store. So if you don't have access to grow lights, it's actually a really cheap alternative to buying a specific grow light. I went to a pet store and bought T8 tubes that were full spectrum tubes for aquariums and I had these plants under those tubes. The reason I use fluorescence is because they're a lot less intensive and these are under canopy plants and don't require much light at all. I found that using the T8 fluorescence for this system was perfect. So I'm actually going to find a spot in the greenhouse for these devices. Uh, I will recommend them, uh, even the clone ones. I haven't been able to get my hands on a real one because they still haven't released it. So. If you're wondering whether or not to buy a clone terra planter, they're cheaper and they work. So go for it. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hooch, let's see the roots. So I'm gonna actually just, I think I'm just, just gonna pull away. Oh. 
Oh look, at, oh, look how they've gone around the base as well. That's pretty cool. So that's the base of the terra planta. And the, the roots have formed like a mat. Now these have been dead for a while. So keep that in mind. But that is, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Very cool. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Huchos. There's a link in the description to the original video. Like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time on Huchos. I see through the bricks to the sea crumbling castle.